What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video we have some important updates on the Electra Jailbreak, the Meridian Jailbreak and the Double Helix and also the Semi Restore for iOS 11 has been released. So we have quite a lot of things to talk about, let's dig in. I'm going to start with the Electra Jailbreak that received a new version and for those of you who are new to this channel, the Electra Jailbreak is a jailbreak for iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2 and is compatible with all iPhone, iPod Touches, iPad and iPad Mini models running the 11.0 and 11.1.2. The uh, version that has been released is the 1.0.4. Some people say that the 1.0.3 is pretty buggy and for some people it didn't even work on their devices according to them in the comment section. So the version 1.0.4 has been released and it's apparently more stable than the previous one. It's recommended also to update the tweak injector to 1.0.4 from uh, the Electra repo in order to get safe mode and system demons as well, since they're no longer in sync probably. So yeah, if you want to update you can go ahead and download this version here by pressing download and use CD Impactor. It's semi-untethered again for those of you who are new to the channel and also keep in mind that you have to update this, um, this tweak in here, tweak injector, to the uh, 1.0.4, otherwise there might be problems. You need to get the safe mode and the system demons, so do that. Anyways, that's pretty much it about the Electra. It has been updated. Go ahead and update your device right now if you're using it. Even if you didn't have any problems, it's still a good idea since it has pretty much uh, quite a lot of changes in here. It replaces a lot of things, it removes the XPC code, so it pretty much changes uh, a little bit the structure. Now, I'm going to talk about the uh, double helix jailbreak that also received an important update, but I didn't want to make a separate video just for this so I decided to include it in this update video. So it has been updated as well a couple days ago it says uh, release candidate 6 and it fixes incomplete kernel patch, fixed uh, app crash on offset finder error and fixed crash on some 10.0.2 uh, devices. Now for those of you who are new to the channel double helix is pretty much a jailbreak for 64-bit devices running any iOS 10 version starting from iOS 10 going up to iOS 10.3.3 you can use it for 10.2.1, 10.3.2 you can replace Yalu with it if you want for iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 and lower. So it's pretty much a universal jailbreak for iOS 10 on 64-bit, but only for the devices that are not the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. So it says in here, quote, only 64-bit devices with headphone jack supported, A7 through A9. So pretty much iPhone 6s and lower, and um, it stops at the iPhone 5s. That's the uh, last 64-bit device going downwards. So yeah, it's pretty much a big compatibility list. It's unfortunate that it's not supporting the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but for the other devices, it's pretty useful since it can be used on any iOS 10 version, and it's pretty stable. Uh, Double Helix has been released by Saigu and Teamstar. So uh, the next one in line then is the Meridian. This one is the jailbreak if you are going to jailbreak your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. This one is compatible with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus but it's unfortunately still on the works. We got though a little bit more news on the Meridian and the way it's going to work. So according to um, the developer, which is Psycho T or IB Sparks on Twitter, he said that his untether, granted that he can create it and his theory is right, uh, will be available as a package in Cydia. So by default, the Meridian jailbreak will not be untethered. It will be semi-untethered. You download it and you have to resign it every seven days and all that stuff you probably got used to. But if you want to untether it, granted he manages to create the untether, it will be available as a tweak. You install it and from that point on, you are untethered. Now, the untether idea is still in the works. It's still a theory and he still has to do quite a lot of work in order to get it right and order to get it working so please don't get over excited about that but granted he manages to create it it will be available as a tweak so you don't have to use it if you don't want a um, an untethered jailbreak somebody asked what will happen if they uh, simply remove the untethered package from the device well IB Sparks replayed with the fact that the Meridian jailbreak will simply go back to its semi-untethered state 
which will pretty much mean nothing. I mean, it's not going to crash or something. It's just going to get back to its normal state. So it's safe to remove that in case you were wondering. So yeah, that's pretty much it about Meridian. Unfortunately, there are no new versions in here, but I will keep you updated as they pop in. So the last thing I would like to touch on is the semi-restore for iOS 11. For those of you who do not know, semi-restore allows you to pretty much reset your phone to a state much cleaner than you are in for the moment. For example, you installed a crap ton of tweaks and themes and things and whatever. And you would like to pretty much clean up your device and stuff like that and get back to a semi-stock state for your device. Well, you can use semi-restore, which is available for iOS 10, 9, 8, whatever. And it has now been released for the iOS 11 as well. Um, I'm going to quote this fellow developer in here on Reddit. Quote, semi-restore light for iOS 11 has been released to reset the phones to the state just after it was jailbroken with Electra for the first time. This package is on Electra's Cydia repo. So if you feel your device is a little bit clunky and is no longer working as it was expected, uh, you can pretty much try to do this. Just make sure you don't have any important information on the device. Just make a backup of your data first. But you can use this one to pretty much get back to a cleaner state. Just don't assume that this one can fix your boot loops or that this one can fix your fuck ups if you, I don't know, remove important files from the phone or if you modify important files from the phone, that will pretty much not happen in many cases. So don't assume that it's going to fix your device if you break the OS. Um, that can only be fixed by a normal restore with blobs that is actually much more complicated than semi-restore. But yeah, it's very useful. So I'm definitely happy it has been updated for iOS 11. Yeah, this is pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more iOS and jailbreak news. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.